Your holograms probably suck, but these ones don't. So let's talk about how to make some spicy holograms and impress your family at long last. This video is sponsored by Fraser FraserFX. It's my website and it'd mean a lot to me if you checked it out. It's made for artists just like you who are clearly interested in making cool renders. Just look at the awesome space opera textures. That's a good place to start if you like spaceships. There's even a pack of free spaceship texturing tools to jumpstart you on your journey. You can jump through hyperspace over to my website to support the channel. To start, we need a cool 3D model. Let's take this Arrestor Cruiser model from Digital Shipyard. Recognize it? That's because it's the Star Destroyer from Andor. Great show, by the way. Now let's actually make the shader. Make a Blender file. Apologize deeply and emphatically to the default cube, then obliterate it. Make sure to do this quickly so that it's painless for the cube. Then bring in your model. The basis of this setup is pretty easy. An add shader, emission shader, and transparent shader. Boom! Now you have the ugliest hologram the world has ever seen. Let's make it beautiful so it can get a date to the dance. Start by recreating this node setup right here. I go more in depth on it in this video. Plug the result into the strength of the emission shader. Now we just have the edges. Be wary, this is a cycles only technique. No EV here, sorry, not sorry. Now just adjust the radius of the bevel node until the edge width looks nice. If you're using maybe EV or want an actual wireframe of the model, you can add a wireframe node to our previous edge setup. I don't love this solution because it uses the triangulated mesh and the wireframe isn't necessarily a good representation of what the outlines of the object feel like. Now we've got our model outlined, let's add in a fill. We can emulate that effect using a layer weight node and using the facing output. Not for now, since that can break the shader a little bit. If you want this to look more accurate, add a gamma node set to like 5 and then a math node set to add, with the amount set to 0.03 or 0.05. This is roughly correct, or at least it might look better to you. Scan lines are a cool thing. Let's add them to our shader here. The closest thing to a scan lines texture is the wave texture node, so let's add that. Set the scale until it looks good, then add a bit of distortion to make it a little less uniform. If you want the noise to be able to flicker, you can remove the distortion and add it manually with a very small scale noise texture. Make it 4D, then animate the W value to evolve the noise. Add the noise on top of the wave texture with a mix node, and you can use a color ramp to tighten up the scan lines. Now this next part is arguably impossible for a hologram no matter what, but sometimes you just can't see your hologram because the background is too bright. So you might consider changing the brightness of the transparent shader a little bit. Now we're getting into the unrealistic stuff that looks good. I don't like how busy the hologram looks. You can see all the detail behind the surface. To turn that down a bit, add a geometry node, invert the back facing value, then multiply that over our strength value here. You can change the factor to something you like so it's not opaque, but that inside detail is less distracting. If the back facing trick isn't enough for you, we can actually do the same thing but with everything that's behind the surface layer. Use a light path node and invert the transparent depth value, then multiply that over our hologram. Be careful though, this will mix out the hologram no matter what transparent material is being filtered through. Glass and refraction doesn't count though. Now that our hologram looks really good, you might realize some models rely a lot on normal mapping to add in detail. Any normal maps for your object should be plugged into both the layer weight node and the bevel node. If you wanted to have a bit more influence over the final look, you can take your normal map or bump node, add a geometry node, and subtract the normal values like this with a mix node. Feed that through a separate color node like we did for the edges, and you have a little more definition. You can always go to Fraser Effects for cool textures for the normal mapping technique. If you're making cool sci-fi projects, you also need to know how to texture a regular spaceship really realistically. So go binge this video until the heat death of the universe.